Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're dividing mixed fractions in worksheet two from mathsalamanders.com. There'll be a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. They have a lot of great resources and a lot of great templates of worksheets. And this is one of them, helping us determine how do we divide mixed fractions. I'm gonna talk through the example it gives us because it, it's a really good example. So we have this mixed fraction, this mixed fraction, and the process of changing these mixed fractions into improper fractions, which are much easier to work with, is fairly simple. All you gotta do is multiply this denominator, that tells you how many parts there are to the whole, by the holes, okay, and that will tell you how many total pieces there are, and then we add it to the leftover pieces that are already in the numerator, okay? So again, multiply the denominator times the whole number, and then add the numerator. And we're gonna do that with both of these, so the five times the one, and then we're gonna add the two in the top. Where does that leave us? Well. It leaves us with 11, that's four times two. Let me get my pointer out. Four times two plus three is 11. Five times one is five plus two is seven. And you keep it over the denominator that's already there, okay? So that's the first part, just converting. And then when you get to the second part, we want to, what I like to call, keep change flip. So keep change flip is keep it. You're gonna keep this first fraction the same, okay? So we're gonna keep this fraction the same, that's the keep. We're gonna change, we're gonna change the division to multiplication. And we are going to flip. Flipping is simply changing the fraction into its reciprocal form. So we change it, keep change, sorry, we flip it, <laughs> almost messed up, <laughs> to its reciprocal. Why do we do that? Because multiplying by the reciprocal is the same thing as dividing, okay? For example, if you divide by two, it's the same thing as multiplying by one half. One half of something, same thing as dividing by two, and that's why. So we get 55 over 28 as our final answer. Okay, now that we know the process, and if you wanna like rewind it to this section, uh, I would advise that, but we're gonna go over some examples and that will be helpful, I feel. All right, so first one, we have our uh, mixed fraction. Okay, so, uh, let me highlight again. So the, here's a mixed fraction. Again, we are going to, let's change the green, multiply, and then add. So that's gonna be three times one is three, plus two is five. That's why it's already there. And then we have over three. Notice how they already kept, changed. Okay, I'm just gonna be hard for me to change colors that fast, change, and then flip. The one over four became four over one. So now we just do our multiplication rules, which are, and I don't think I mentioned this before, top times top and bottom times bottom. The numerators times each other and then the denominator times the denominator. So we get equal 20 over three and that's our final answer. Pretty simple, once we get to the multiplication part, honestly it's easier than addition or subtraction of fractions, okay? Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Here we have another mixed number as the worksheet would suggest, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five times the two and add the three and that gives us 13 in the top. And then we already have the change in flip, so that is gonna be one over five. Why is it one over five? Because if we have five over one, okay, that's the same thing as five, okay? That's the same thing as five, so five over one, that's five. So the reciprocal would be one over five. A lot of people mess that up, so just I just wanted to kind of emphasize that. Now we have top times top, that's 13, bottom times bottom, that's 25, and that is our final answer. Let's go one without the template. So um, let's go maybe one where the mixed fraction's second. No, let's go just go right here. Um, this one actually looks harder. Let's go number five. So number five, keep change flip. Okay, that's one thing. But we also have a mixed fraction in here. First thing we're gonna do is multiply three times three and then add the top. That is 11. Three times three is nine plus two, 11. Over three, change. We already changed it. Say, uh, we have to divide to multipl multiplication right there. And then we gotta flip this guy. So this guy is gonna become eight over five. 11 over three times eight over five. That's 88 over 15, final answer. Now, a couple of these I wanted to do before leaving. Let's go to maybe one of these, like number 14. Um, notice how it's two mixed fractions. So what we're gonna have to do here is, it, it's already changing it for us. So we got the change part. The flip part's gonna be a little bit more tricky, okay? So be careful with this. I don't want you to just cram everything in and mess it up. So we're gonna multiply here first. We have 18 and then add the top, that's 20. Keep it over three. That's the keep part. We already changed and now we need to flip. 
but we can't flip until we know what we need to flip, okay? So what we need to do here is we're gonna have to kind of write it. Five times one is five plus four is nine, okay? Nine over five. You don't wanna go ahead and write nine over five there like you like you may have been doing, or I mean, you haven't been doing it because it's already been a fraction. So you need to make sure that you flip this before you go ahead and write it in, okay? All right, so I just, what, that's why I'm writing it kind of underneath here, and then I'm going to flip this guy to become five over nine. So I just wanna be, be careful when you do that. I don't want you guys to make a mistake. Now we have 20 times five in the top, that is 100, and then we have uh, three times nine in the bottom, that is 27, and that is our final answer. Wish I would've used purple earlier. Great look. But that's all there is to it. If you guys have more questions on any of these examples, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll happily make another video just for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and check out more of my videos right here on West Explains Best.